Artan's methodology for achieving this involves one of the distinctions that I referred to before in this thing called neurolinguistic programming or NLP, which I'm the co-author of. There's a lot of evidence of worldwide interest, not only by the number of training courses and the activities that go on in nearly every country I'm aware of, but if you use a simple hit count off the net, um, NLP at the moment is running in advance of the number of hits, for example, the famous uh, footballer David Beckham has. So there is a lot of interest here. This particular challenge is one of the most interesting I could have designed. It was, in fact, initiated by Artan himself. Artan proposes to use what is called NLP modeling as the device to overcome what other people would consider nearly insurmountable obstacles for him becoming a starter on one of the top tier premiership teams. At the moment, he has no such connection. So you are in on the ground floor. I'm, I'm really interested in stimulating your curiosity about whether this young man can succeed in achieving the dream shared by so many other people. One of the implications of his success here is a demonstration that there are alternative methods of learning even down to and including highly competitive, world-class athletics, which are available but not widely known about yet, just getting exposure now in the larger world. Let me be precise about the, the fundamental difference between the learning methodology that Artline will be using, which comes from uh, neurolinguistic programming, and more conventional or standard ways of learning. Here's the following dilemma, or shall I say, here's the following uh, contradiction. We work very hard, even as uh, young people, to create internal maps about our understanding of how the world works. As we do this, we, by trial and error, succeed, fail, correct, try something else, and we build these internal maps, which are our knowledge base about how the world works. All of these maps are wrong. That is, there's always a discrepancy between the menu and the actual dish that's served. There's always a discrepancy between the internal maps which we use to guide our behavior and what's actually out there. If we succeed, it's because the maps most approximate, it's because the maps approximate adequately what's out there to serve as a guide just as a map does in doing land navigation or moving on the, the motorways uh, to a destination. The key difference here is what is called unconscious assimilation.